Annyeonghaseyo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. With the ongoing rollout of the coronavirus vaccine, we're hopefully entering the final phase of this pandemic, which means it's a good time to reflect on where we've been, where we are, and what things will be like once this is over. With that in mind, tonight's feature is the first of three films about pandemics, social distancing, and isolation, The Last Man on Earth. However, before we go down that cheery path, we have the next episode of The Great Alaskan Mystery. Last time, Jim and the bosun were saved from being run off the road by an extended cutaway not featured in the previous episode. While the crew goes to rescue them, the brigands steal the Paratron Ray. Brandon and Dr. House set out for an intimate night of stargazing only to learn that Jim and Ruth are spying on them from above. The couple use the stolen ray to shoot down Jim and Ruth's plane, causing it to crash on the other side of the mountain. And now, episode 9 of The Great Alaskan Mystery, Hurtling Through Space. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is The Last Man on Earth. A global pandemic has turned everyone into insatiable blood-hungry monsters except for Vincent Price, the titular last man on Earth. Formerly a scientist working on a cure, now he spends his days barricaded in his home trying to stave off madness. Thirteen months into the coronavirus pandemic, this movie hits a little differently. Certainly we can chuckle at the idea of Price three years into isolation still dressing in a suit every day when hardly any of us were wearing pants after three days. Nevertheless, despite being 57 years old, the film captures the boring sameness of each day expressed here by the film being really boring. Now, without further ado, The Last Man on Earth. Tonight's film is The Last Man on Earth, and if we think of the movie in terms of the pandemic, and how can we not, how can we think of anything but the pandemic, ever present, ever watching, ever waiting, tireless, and hungry. We can see the influence the film has had on other movies about isolation and infection. The easy horror metaphor is zombie movies, a genre that makes the threat of contagion immediate and aggressive. While we can see how the ghouls in Romero's Night of the Living Dead echo the monsters in tonight's feature, we can also see from our own experience how the zombie metaphor for contagion fails. Instead of having to meet an aggressive threat with violence, we all had to stop and wait for it to pass. Of course, we thought the waiting would be brief and not stretch on until the waiting itself became the new normal. That's the horror at the center of this movie. Not the monsters, not the virus, but the sense of being at the mercy of an irreversible change. For these characters, normal isn't returning. And on that note, we return to The Last Man on Earth. That was The Last Man on Earth, and that's what you get for killing the dog, Vincent! Now a preview of next week's feature. It's the end of the world. But we've got real estate to kill for! Come sit in the house at the edge of forever and... hang out! If hell is other people, at least the weather is nice, in the year 2889, on the Busan Midnight Movie. Oh yeah, and there are mutants! That's right, folks. From here, they start getting real goofy. As always, Kinsanada, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.